All right, for the next bolt, we are going to start a new design um, and call it um, 0.25 quarter inch bolt. That's fine. And hit save. But in this one, we're going to do a little bit differently. It starts off the same. We hit sketch, create sketch, choose that surface, do the polygon again, circumscribe. And once again, we're going to do the dia same diameter. So the diameter in this case is a, we're doing the quarter inch bolt. So we're going to use 0.25. That's the diameter of the bolt. We'll use that here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, and I didn't mention this last video, but notice um, if I tab, this number allows me to change the number of, of sides of the polygon. So I could do like an octagon. I could do an eight sided. I could do a four sided which would be a square, or not 45, that's too many, but I can do a four-sided, but six is actually what um, typical bolts and nuts are, so six is fine. I hit enter. Now, I want to note, I want to look at this dimension. I am pretty sure um, that this is going to be called, I'm going to assume for now, that this dimension, it's 0.25, actually has a name. And, oh, there it is. If I hover over it, you see where it says D1? All right, that's its name, D1, Dimension 1. Keep that in mind, D1. All right, so we'll stop our sketch. Go home. And just like before, we're going to press Pull. But when we do it this time, I'm going to press Pull it, because remember, the, these numbers are the same. I'm going to type in D1, D1 it will automatically do it as big as the first dimension was. So it will just be equal to that. So the cool thing is, is if I change that first dimension, I change everything else if I, if I link them together like this. So that's what I want. I'm going to hit Enter. And just to point out, notice that the distance that I extruded it from here to here, or that I press pulled it, is in fact... Um, the 0.25 that I want it to be. So now we're going to go underneath and we're going to put the right click. We're going to do, whoops, uh, close, we're out of the measure. We're going to right click here and we're going to do create sketch and we're going to do a center circle. But how big is the circle supposed to be? Well, once again, D1, the first dimension. If I make it that, it'll automatically set it to 0.25. Enter. Stop the sketch. We're going to press pull that. Now we are going to do this one at one inch every time. So that's going to be one. And, and for the chamfers on the edges, we're going to do modify chamfer. And we're going to select all those sides, just like before. Did I get it? Uh, that. So I select them all, and remember we want to do one-tenth of the other one. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do D1, and then divided by the slash 10. And it will automatically make the, the chamfer there a tenth of whatever you had as the initial one. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, I wouldn't put the threads on yet. I'd save it. And now, after I saved it, we're going to actually make the next bolt up. And how are we going to do that? Go all the very easily. Go all the way back to this sketch, the first one. Right click and hit edit sketch. Remember that thing that was D1? Well, for this next bolt, we're going to we're going to change that. So double click on that number. And we're going to make that I believe the next one is 0.375. Now, if I change this, I'm going to change anything else that I called D1. So I hit enter. Stop my sketch. And notice that if we measure a few of these, if I do inspect and measure, that this distance, uh, for example, the diameter of this, is 0.375. Right? It changed everything that I linked to it, except the length of this thing, which is one inch, and that's left it as that. So there, I am now officially done the next bolt up. So I hit Save As this time. Otherwise, you'll mess up your one point. Hit Save As and call it a new bolt. It's not the quarter inch bolt, it's the 0.375 inch bolt. 
save. And now go back into this sketch again and change this to the next one up, which is a half an inch. Double click there, 0.5, enter, stop sketch, and it does it all for me. And I do the same thing until I make them all. Then I go back for each one and I put the threads in. So you would go back to the other one, the 0.125 one, open it up, I'm oh, sorry, 0.251, and put the threads in. So I would do the threads after I make all the, the blanks, we'll say, for the bolts. All right, so this one I would save as and call it half-inch bolt, 0.5 space bolt, and save. And I would continue that process until I've made them all, and then I would put the threads on. 